guys, welcome to another video in the Ark Taming series, and you have probably um, found this video because you have Shadlow's Tameable Bosses on your server, and you're wanting to figure out how in the world to tame one of your one of the um, manticores on your server, the Origin Manticores. So the first thing I suggest doing is clean up the area of any hostile dinosaurs. There is an, uh, there's a manticore like right over there somewhere. And so what I'm gonna do is just clean up this area of threats. Because my bullets aren't registering, so we'll probably have to go kill it without the bullets. And so once you've cleaned up your area, there's the manticore that I wanna get right there. Um, once we've cleaned up the area, we can build a trap. And once we build a trap, then we can painstakingly try to get the manticore into the trap. And I'm going to try to explain the best way I have found to trap one of these manticores, hopefully without dying the good death. we got to kill that Sukumimus first, though. Or Ostrolovinate or whatever. I can't tell which dino I'm hitting. Okay. So, the very first thing that I suggest you bring with you for one of these tames is either a gas mask or a tech helmet. Because the Manticore is much like his boss brethren in that it will hit you with um, torpor and will knock you clean out. Um, but this, this Oster Lovinator might kill it. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Alright, so now we're in trouble. Because I wanted to try to help him. Okay, so we're good. We're good. He decided to go after that other thing. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here. And we're going to build a trap. Oh, man. There's acros there now. Okay, so we're just going to build a trap right here. Okay. And the trap is going to consist of stone behemoth gates. This will not work with metal behemoth gates, okay? Because the metal behemoth gates do not have a roof, okay? So what you want to do is place five of these stone behemoth gates next to each other with room to fly out with your RG Pteranodon or bat. With me, I have a bat. So we need to make sure we have enough space to fly out. Right here. And if you don't, then you will need to replace the gate. Alright? That is the most important part of this, is to make sure you have room to fly out of there. Because if you don't, you will probably end up in night-night time. Okay? But you also don't want to let enough room for the manticore to get out. That should be fine. Let's hope. Let's hope. That's a little bit scary, but I think it's probably going to be fine. If it's not, then we'll die and whatever, right? So here's what we're going to do. We are going to place this here. And then we are going to go get said manticore's attention. Now, again, very important in my opinion that you have a gas mask or a tech helmet to protect your self from his um from his torpor attack but what we're going to do is we're going to get him to follow us into the trap if you can keep him on the ground that would be great also okay obviously that's hit or miss okay so once you have him in there all you gotta do is get the door in place around the other side. Like so, okay? Now, in my experience, the manticore cannot hurt the gates. Okay, so once he's in there, like so, just get yourself some distance, again, because of the torpor. And we're just... Oh, did he get out? I think he got out. Guys, I think he got out. Okay, so he got out. I'm pretty sure he got out. He did. Golly, man. Okay, so we're going to have to fix that. No big deal. No big deal. 
trial and error. Trial and error. That's fine. Nobody needs to know that we messed up. Um, I do not recommend turning your back on a manticore. Oh, goodness. All right. Thank you for not flying. All right. He's still following me, bro. So clearly their aggro range is super far. And because I don't want him to go too far away. Oh my god, he's going to be a pain in the butt. He won't de aggro. So we're just going to leave render and hopefully that'll be enough. So out of all of these bosses, I planned on the Manticore being the hardest. I don't know why my bat won't dive. That's a little bit weird as well. Clearly the Dismodus is not diving anymore. Oh, you know what? It's probably because I have that on. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Alright, so he's far enough away to where I might be able to operate again. Alright, so this is a really tricky situation because you got to have enough space for you to get out, but not the Manticore to get out. Clearly, I'm no good at this. Oh, that's pretty close. I don't know if that's going to be enough either. We'll find out. It's going to be close. It sucks that we had him in there already, but it wasn't secure enough. All right, here we go. Attempt number two. God dang it, man! God dang it! What's up, Jeff Fresh? All right, we're going to try to use K mode this time. It's going to be way too wide. Oh, this is so frustrating. Will you pick it up? Thank you. Damn it. <laughs> Why am I struggling with this thing? All right, let's try it this way. If 
that's likely too far. That's probably fine now. All right. Put that there. Now let's try this again. Got him in there. That was way more difficult than it needed to be. Now the question is, is there any space for me to actually shoot him? That's not the right gun. Alright. So I'm using shocking trank darts. And my server settings are 2.5 times taming. See, he's not able to destroy the stone, which is good. And he's attacking the trap, which is good also. So as um, most of the dinos or creatures in this mod, um, they have more health than, or more torpor than health, rather. Wow, crazy that he... Finally, so he's torpor. He's torpor fleeing. I'm gonna try to get over here so we can see him. And obviously, as you can see, this is why you need a roof. Because if this was the metal behemoth gates, he would have just flown right out of here, right? And that would be bad. Alright, so he is knocked out. So now let's get over here. And he's going to want Extraordinary Kibble. He's going to want nine of them. This is a pretty high level Manticore. Um, 180 is the high level on my server. So 162 is really high. And his Torpor is pretty fast. But I don't think it's fast enough to really worry about. So we're going to let him eat for a little while. Um, uh, Jeffrey, I'm doing pretty good, man. I hope you're doing well also. So, the Manticore, um, doesn't need a saddle. It uses something called, um, an, an implant, okay? And the implant is obtainable at level 60. You craft it within your own inventory, and it takes 200 fiber, 380 hide, and 50 metal ingots. Super cheap to do, um... <coughs> You got what I need. Yo, Z-Wolf, thank you for the raid. I, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Welcome in, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well that came in with the raid. So also, guys, if you are watching the video, I have um, a Binturong on my shoulder, which is from the Additional Creatures 2 Wild Ark mod, which is an incredible mod for Ark. And he gives my t the, the creatures something called popcorn scent. And that increases their food drain. And if you increase their food drain, then you are decreasing the time it takes to tame them. And that's always good. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward until the Manticore is tamed up, and then I will show you guys what attacks and things that he does. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we are back, and we have tamed up our brand new Origin Manticore. And we are going to place his implant on him so we can ride him around. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about this creature. Now, the first thing I got to tell you, because I learned this the hard way the first time I ever tamed one of these guys, is be careful about their glide. They have a really cool glide. I will show you what I mean. They're much like a griffin or a desmodus um, or the owl. Where you get into the air and essentially point straight down and he will glide like so. But the thing that you have to be very difficult about, or very, very, that's a cool dino. The thing you have to be very, very careful about with the manticores is I find it sometimes really difficult to pull up out of the dive, okay? So, like, I can go up here and then dive down and then pull up. Sometimes it will not pull up and I will dive right into the ground. And if you do that, your manticore will die. Um, the fall damage will kill them very, very quickly. I found that out the hard way. Um, I have killed at least two of them that way. Um, so, just be very careful of that, okay? So, the origin manticores are found in the mountains, the lava islands... The volcanic regions, the volcano biome on um, Genesis, the desert mountain, like where we are right now on Ragnarok, and the desert biodome on ex uh, Extinction, okay? Um, so there are two different kinds of manticores, okay? There is the Valiant kind, which you can see uh, with the awesome spyglass. You can see it right there. It says Valiant. How to tell them to stop calling. All right, so that's it says valiant. You can see that right on there, okay? And then, hmm, let me see here. Let me see what kind this one is. This is also a valiant, okay? Um. Let me see if I go back to my base, if I can, if I have another one of the other kind. That way I can show you guys both, because um, that would be helpful. So let me do that real quick. I think I might have one of the other kind at the base. Um, right over here. Okay. So yeah, so here you have the other kind of manticore. All right, so there are two kinds, as I was just saying. There is the Valiant version. And there is the Ferocious version. version. Okay. And you can see them side by side. Obviously, they don't look any different, right? There's a Ferocious, and there's a Valiant. Okay? One of each. I'm going to tell you the difference between them. All right? The Valiant Manticores have... Um, a plus 15% health and a minus 15% melee, all right? So the Valiant ones, which is like this one here, have more health and less melee, all right? And the Ferocious ones have less health but more melee, okay? So the Ferocious ones have plus 15% melee, and minus 15% health. And the Valiant ones ones have plus 15% health and minus 15% melee. Alright? So that's the difference between the Valiant and the Ferocious. Now, I've already showed you guys how to glide with them. The left click is just, um, is just a, a, an ordinary bite. Okay, and the bite work if he's landed or in midair. Okay, either way, it works. Okay? Either way, the bite will work. Alright? Now, the right click is a claw slash. And the claw slash 
um, will render armor. Uh, it rends armor similar to a mantle. Okay. And that also works while you're flying. Okay. Now, obviously, it is very difficult to control the manticore while it's in midair. Okay. And it will land automatically when it gets close to the ground. But you can see here, the right click also works when you are flying. Now we are stuck inside the bomb. That's solid video game if I ever saw one. All right. Now, C, with the C key in midair, if you are in midair with the C key, I wish I wasn't stuck inside the Bronto, bro. They have to kill the monster. Right, there we go. Maybe we're out. Thank God. Okay, so the C key, while you're in midair, will pick things up, okay? But the creature that you are picking up has to be less than 200 drag weight, okay? And there aren't many creatures that are less than 200 drag weight. So we're talking really small creatures, see? But you can see, like, with this chicken right here, I am able to pick it up, okay? But if you are on land and you use the C key, um, it will inflict a tail sting, like so. And the tail sting inflicts high amounts of torpor with a 12-second cooldown. Okay, so you can see the, the, cool, the torpor rising on that trike, see it? The problem is, is you're only able to use that every 12 seconds. And it does not work when you're in midair, okay? The X key when you're on land will do a tail swipe, like this. And there is no cooldown for that. And that will envenomate creatures. All right? That's pretty cool. So what that does, it envenomates the creature, as you can see with the blood there. And it does not work in midair either. Okay, it only works when you're on land. Let me get rid of the Bronto. Okay, apparently I can't kill the Bronto anymore. Okay, you need to not go near my base. I, I'm really starting to despise this Bronto. Alright, we got rid of the dang Bronto. Alright, so the X key again, which is on land only, is a tail swipe. The sw It swipes its tail behind itself for knockback, and it also does like a Deonychus bleed effect. Um, but it cannot affect bosses. Okay. Um, the shift and X, which is like this, does that cloud, which apparently I was doing by mistake. The shift is, a shift and X is the venom cloud. But yeah, that makes sense because I was running. So here's the regular X, and then here is shift X right here. Okay? And that cannot be done in air, okay? It can only be done on land. This one right here. It looks like there's a cooldown. That one right there where you get the cloud. Um, it does AOE um, Venom around the Manticore. It does five damage every one second or so, and it doesn't scale with its melee. It inflicts Venom on its targets, um, stacking up to ten times. So you can get a stack of ten Venoms going all at once on a creature. Um, and the Venom is a base minus 5 health per tick and minus 1.5 health per second. And it increases in potency the more it stacks. So it's similar to, like, Shadow Main Poison, okay? Um, now, on land, it also does a left control roar, like this. And that is for aesthetics only. The, I, I, I just lied. That is not for aesthetics only. The left control land only um, 
great roar and if its effect depends on the mood of the manticore if it's a valiant manticore like this one is right like this one is um then that buff will uh, it will buff its allies for about 20 seconds with a plus 20 percent attack and plus 20 percent um resilience or resistance um, after buffing its allies, the manticore itself will gain the buff as well. If it's a ferocious manticore and you use the left control roar, um, it applies uh, an AoE debuff that reduces enemy attack and reduces enemy uh, or increases enemy or reduces enemy resistance by 20%. Okay? So that is the this roar here left control it also has a shift left control roar which looks like this i'm just going to show you the difference here's the left control and here's the shift left control the shift left control roar does absolutely nothing okay the left control roar is the one that does the different effects depending on the mood of the manticore, okay? Again, the two moods are valiant or ferocious, okay? And of course, space bar is how you take flight, okay? And that is the origin manticore from Shadlow's Tameable Bosses. Badass creature. Um, I love it. I have myself a shiny version of this, which is like a holographic one. Um, it looks like this. Let me show you the holographic one I have. I really love this creature. Um, it's one of my favorite tames. It's super rare. Um, this is from the shiny mod. It's a holographic origin manticore. Look at that. Super cool. But yeah, I love the manticore. They are really fast. Especially when you start gliding around the map. It's pretty dope. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got anything out of it, please like the video. Of course, if you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And I will catch you all down the road.